Hello guys and welcome back. The day is finally here. The day is finally here. I am going to pick up the new 2020 F350 Platinum. 6.7 power truck of course. I ordered this thing like in September and we're just getting it now. <sighs> anyway, let the content begin guys, man. I am, I'm excited to get this thing. I've been waiting for a while. It is a tool for me, but it's exciting to put out videos for you guys that are wondering, hey, 2020, should I get it? Should I get the 19? You know, what's the difference? All that stuff. We're gonna find it today. So we're gonna go pick this thing up. It is at the dealership, ready to go. So the question is, what do we take? Well, I can't take the 19 350 because if it snows, I gotta have the plow on that thing. Can't take the 4Runner, because the wife needs that. And I can't take the 250, well, because that's getting traded in, but I need to get the back rack off it, the tonal cover off it, the plow gear off it. I gotta get all that stuff off it, because that truck is going in on the 350. And I'm not taking the 550, which is hiding down there, because, well, I just don't want to. So anyway, we are gonna take the FJ. We're taking the FJ over. I'm gonna leave there for a couple days while I get the gear off the 250 to take over and trade in on this thing. But we're going to pick it up. We're going to do it, so let's go. All right, here we go. Here's a bunch of 2019s. Oh, I think I see it, guys. They got our parked right out front. I think I see it. All right, guys. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? All right, here it is. No, just kidding. That's a 19. guys so there she is the 2019 f350 platinum in all its glory man those headlights are awesome those headlights look so good so good everything looks awesome except for that massive air dam on there so here's what I'm gonna do guys I'm gonna park this truck right next to this 2019 f350 platinum in star white then it was called platinum white. Let's take a look at some differences here. Okay guys, so here they are parked side by side. Obviously right away you can see the difference in the grills. I do honestly believe the color is slightly different. I think this one is a little more of a flat white. This one has a little more of a gloss to it. I do think there is a small, small difference in the color. I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up. You can definitely notice a difference in the air dams. This one is certainly lower than this one. And honestly, taking a look at this truck, both trucks, first thing I notice 
is the 19 is noticeably higher than what the 2020 is take a look at the hoods but take a look at the mirrors if you look at the mirrors right here you can see that the 19 is probably three quarters of an inch to an inch higher than the 2020 I knew that the, that the 250s were dropping in height a bit but I didn't know that the 350s were but also this truck has the FX4 package this truck does not so that might play a little bit of difference I'm not sure same size tires same size everything else but the headlights and the grill guys what a huge 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 improvement massive massive improvement all right so here is a little bit of a funny story this is actually not the truck that I ordered <laughs> My truck that I ordered is still not here yet. This is just a random truck that showed up. Um, it's a funny story how they got it, but they got it. And uh, I was actually told about this truck from a subscriber who was driving by and said, man, I think your truck's on the lot. He sent me a picture of the window sticker and the closer I looked, I was like, no, that's not my truck because I will tell you why. I did actually order the FX4 package and I did actually order uh, fifth wheel prep which this truck does not have either one but I honestly don't care because the more I got thinking about it I was like man why did I order an FX4 anyway I'm gonna put a lift on this truck so I don't need those Rancho shocks I don't need that small block I'm gonna be putting Fox shocks on this a four and a half inch lift I think I'm gonna go with and also the good the fifth wheel prep all I need is a gooseneck ball I don't tow fifth wheel so gooseneck ball uh, I got my buddy's shop's gonna hook me up with that for basically the same price or cheaper. So here it is. This is the truck, guys. This is a 2020 that we're gonna be going with. So let's jump in the truck. All right, so if you take a look, if this truck had a couple hundred kilometers on it or something, I would not be taking this truck. This truck has 15.1 kilometers on it. No one has driven this truck. This truck is completely, completely brand new. The trailer backup assist, um, it does have the locking diff which is another thing that I needed I needed that and as soon as I seen that it had that I was like yep you know what I'm happy with this truck I'm content it's basically exactly what I wanted and a couple things that I didn't need anyway in the end so I'm actually happy so thank you I believe his name is Corey thank you Corey for letting me know this truck is here man that steering wheel is hot Wow you can see the sync system's a little bit different. I'm gonna be going into more of an uh, in in depth review of this, guys. But um, anyway, let's go for a drive because that's what you guys have been waiting for. No one's really had driving reviews on this on these trucks yet because they weren't allowed to. But we are because this truck is mine. So let's go for a drive and we'll talk about how it drives. Actually, reset my trip on the truck. So I'm going to. Yeah, there's a difference there in power for sure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two separate trips. I'm gonna do just a trip running around because I do have a couple errands to do. And then I'm gonna do a separate trip when I get on the highway and we'll see what we get for mileage here. But I can tell you right away that the power gain is uh, is noticeable. I'm in sixth gear already. I'm doing 50, 50 kilometers an hour. And now I'm not gonna like absolutely step on this thing because uh, it is my brand new truck and I, uh, I believe in breaking trucks in. But I will give it a little bit of power. I mean, come on now, we have to, for the purpose of the video at least. Transmission shifts very, very, very smooth. Just like the old six speed torque shift, this transmission shifts very smooth as well. You don't even notice the shifts. I'm in eighth gear, ninth gear right now ninth gear right now doing 50 miles an hour and I'm at uh, 1200 rpm so I'm actually gonna get out here I mean these trucks were effortless before as far as power goes but this is even this is even more so like man I uh, it's actually kind of funny I'm having a little bit of a hard time holding this thing back right now Ninth gear and the torque is just right there. Tenth gear. Tenth gear doing uh, right around 60 miles per hour. 
Oh yeah, this thing drives different. The suspension feels very smooth. I, uh, I dare say that it is uh, quite a bit smoother. Yeah, man. This suspension is way smoother than my 2019 350. It is quite soft, actually. Yeah, I'm having a hard time keeping this thing in the range that I need to be in here. And I actually need to get off at the exit up here. So one second. So we're back on the road, just ran a couple errands. Uh, <laughs> I think I have like a mile on this thing so far. And uh, it does feel different. There's no doubt about it. And this is coming from a guy who has a 17250, a 19350, and a 17550. And my 250 and 350 are 355 gears, you know, same as this truck, but it's obviously the 10 speed and the uh, previous generation power stroke. I can tell you that there's a difference power wise, absolutely. You notice it. Like instantly, you notice it. The shifts are just as smooth as what they used to be. Uh, you do kind of know they happen. But uh, if you weren't looking down, you probably wouldn't. Um, but they're, yeah, they're very smooth, but you can slightly feel them. Uh, the torque, honestly, the torque right now, now wait till I get on the highway, but I can tell you that the torque feels a little bit more like the, the new high output Cummins that I drove. It, uh, there when I was just coming on the highway that one time and I hit the, hit the gas a little bit, it didn't downshift at all, it just pulled. It uh, it seems to skip gears in the lower gears, like one through five, it, used, it really only hits two gears. A lot of times I'm finding right now just putting through town. But wait till we get on the highway and we'll see what happens there, but it's not like it has to go through every gear. So don't think you're gonna be driving down the road and you're gonna feel every shift one through 10. That is not how it's going to happen. Now I can tell you one thing, uh, coming from a Lariat Ultimate into this Platinum, is the seats are like way, 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 way softer. Like way softer <laughs> than the Lariat Ultimate. There is uh, absolutely no doubt about that. There's a lot more padding in these seats. So here I am, I just barely touched the pedal. I'm up to, I was up to 55 miles per hour and I was, I'm in 10th gear right now doing 50 miles per hour, uh, 1100 RPM. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. It's kind of a dark day here today, but man, this thing, the suspension in this, they definitely did some work to the, to the suspension. Now, again, my 19 and my 17, uh, those are both FX4 packages, so they have the uh, they have the Rancho shocks. This truck does not, but I have driven I have driven the Super Duties that did not have the Rancho shocks in uh, the previous generation, and it did not drive uh, near as smooth as this. This thing drives extremely extremely smooth for a one ton truck. I don't trust this plow guy right here a whole hell of a lot. Okay, so let's see. We are in uh, we're in eighth gear right now. I'm just gonna kind of come out and merge onto this to this highway here a little bit, but it's not like a fast highway, so I'm not gonna get up to great speed. But so I'm in six, barely touching the pedal. Seventh, eighth, ninth. You can barely feel those shifts. So what I did notice there, uh, the first few shifts, it looks like the shift point is at 2,000 RPM. So it looks like if you're actually accelerating slightly, it's at 2,000 RPM. Anyway guys, I'm gonna pick up the rest of this video on the highway and we'll see. Right now we're getting 14.4 MPG just running around in town here. So we'll get on the highway, we'll see what we get. I'll do a slight acceleration. Again, nothing crazy. I don't wanna do any damage to my new truck here. So one thing that I will mention before we get on the highway, guys, is uh, 
the adaptive steering they definitely made some adjustments to the adaptive steering i had the i had adaptive steering in my in my 17 uh, lariat ultimate and uh, obviously there's adaptive steering in this being the platinum and it definitely it's definitely a little bit easier in this truck than what it is even in my uh, my 250 going through uh, just going through town here and when I was making a turn going into uh, the bank um, it was extremely easy to turn the wheel at low speeds and then at high speeds it just it acts as you know normal steering that's the way it always operated but the low speeds it definitely turns easier now than what it did uh, previously there's there's no doubt about that all right guys so we're just sort of getting ready to get onto a highway here and <laughs> of course the sun has to be right in our face but uh, anyway I'm going to reset my trip my second trip right now so we'll see what we get on the highway but let's just give it a little bit of gas right here we're in ninth gear like I am barely touching the pedal guys barely touching the pedal man the torque the torque the torque is crazy crazy all right so here we are we are cruising at 69 miles per hour so let's just put it up to 70 and we're at man we're not even at 1600 rpm i don't think 1550 maybe 1600 rpm uh 70 miles per hour so let's see what we get uh heading from here to to my house but man i tell you this thing drives so smooth so smooth these seats <laughs> these seats are like sitting on clouds guys i've i've never i've driven a platinum for like 10 minutes before but not this long man these seats are more these seats are comfortable i don't know if they're more comfortable than what they were for the 19s but i don't remember the 19s being this comfortable because i drove one of the 19s uh, before I decided to get this one and I don't know I don't know so I guess I have my uh, it looks like I have my adaptive cruise on yeah I do so I've never had that before so actually I want to pull out here it instantly notices I pulled out and it started to speed back up again that's cool so I've never had adaptive cruise on a vehicle before. So we're in 10th gear right now. Uh, we're going up a pretty steep grade. The truck's just pulling. Honestly guys, like that's 1500 RPM. Blind spot monitoring. Little light show pops up. Okay, so obviously it drives down the road <laughs> straight and extremely smooth. It's very, very quiet in here. Like, honestly, you can't hear really anything. You can't hear the engine at all, which which almost is a bit of a shame considering how much power that thing has. I'd like to hear it. Uh, I definitely picked up something that's different from my, from my uh, 17. So my 17, the box is like down here now they got it tucked up there and that's one thing I noticed about the Rams the uh, 19 that I had the 19 limited the box came way down the windshield and took away a lot of your visibility so we do have some bumps up here we're gonna be going over coming up here in a second and we'll just sort of see how it does so here's some bumps It is extremely, extremely smooth. I cannot, it, you don't feel like you're driving a one ton truck at all. I do not feel like I'm driving a one ton truck. I feel like I'm driving a unibody SUV or even a half ton. Like this drives as nice as my father-in-law's F-150, which is certainly saying something. All right, so we're getting ready to pull off the highway here. Let's just see what, uh, what the downshifts feel like. 
when we're coming to a stop, you know, from up, from at a decent speed. See it's skipping like two gears at a time. Yep. Okay, two gears at a time. Now let's get a little bit of a pull in here. Oh, wheel spinning. Holy crap, what a difference. What a huge, huge, huge difference, guys. And you can actually hear the turbo. I could hear the turbo. I could hear the whistle of the turbo. Through all the soundproofing that this thing has, I could hear the whistle of the turbo. That's one thing that I could never, ever hear in my 17 or my 19. You can hear it a bit in my 550. But you could hear that. I could hear the And then, man, does it ever just take off. This thing is a rocket, guys. A absolute rocket. My wheels are coming loose. <laughs> 40 miles per hour. No, I was actually at about 50 miles per hour. Give it maybe half throttle and the wheels are coming loose. Wow. 1050 torque guys 475 horsepower and yes it is certainly certainly noticeable again it is so quiet in here you do not hear anything from outside whatsoever the brakes are extremely smooth let's go I am barely touching the pedal barely touching the pedal I've honestly, I've been in the 19, I've had the 19 Ram, I've had that for a couple days. Obviously the three power strokes that I have, my father-in-law's uh, 3.5 EcoBoost. I've never been in a truck that has this much power and effortless power. This thing is just ready to rock and roll. Alright guys, so we're back. The first drive in the new 2020 is done. Man, let me tell you, it feels different. You can feel the power guys, 100%. Transmission shifted very nice. So much torque, like no matter what gear I was in, the thing just pulled. It just pulled. Oh, man, I'm excited to see what's going to happen with this truck. We're gonna have some fun with this truck. Yes, it's gonna be a work truck. You know, the plow's going on it, the gooseneck trailer's gonna be getting hooked up to it. All that stuff's gonna be towing crazy weights, but we're gonna have some fun with this guy. This is the first truck I've ever bought that I'm, I'm gonna have some fun with. We're gonna put a lift on it. We're gonna put 37s on it. We're gonna do maybe some color match and some custom paint on it as well. We're gonna have some fun with this. It's gonna be sort of the centerpiece for the channel for sure. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be practical gonna be a lot of things so there it is man those headlights are deadly so you can notice a couple things different from the 2020 to the 2019 right off the get-go of course this is an XLT premium I did some custom stuff on this I did uh, Raptor liner on the grill and whatnot but if you look at the marker lights they're amber here they are clear with amber lights I noticed that when it was parked next to the 2019 as well so if you are checking in for the first time guys, so this is going to be the 2020 Platinum, which we're going to do, so we're going to have some fun with. Uh, these mud flaps will be coming off, we'll be getting the kickback style to make room for the 37s, we're going to put a lift on it. The gooseneck hitch is going in this, um, there's going to be some things getting on this thing, so stay tuned, stay tuned. Towing videos, MPG videos are going to be coming like right away. We're going to hook up the trailer, which I'll take you and show you in a second if you're not familiar with the channel. We got this guy is a 2019 F350, a uh, XLT Premium, like I said. We've done some custom paint to this. We're gonna be doing some custom wheels, some more Raptor liner on the running boards as well. The 2017 F250, that's gonna be gone. So this one is gonna be gone. This is getting traded in for the new, the new one right there. So 
on this truck I've got 35 inch tires on the 19 I got 35 inch tires so we do tons of tire reviews on on the, this channel as well these are toy open country AT2 extremes we've got the general grabber ATX so this guy's gone airbags are coming off of this back racks coming off tunnel covers coming off plow gears coming off it's all going on the new one the 2020 of course we have the 2019 uh, Toyota 4Runner Limited there as well uh, do some videos on that so let's come down here and check out the big beast so the big beast on the channel is this it is my 2017 F550 this thing is an absolute hoss guys this this tows my gooseneck trailer and my excavator every day this thing is a boss guys it's a boss so here's the 2017 F550 6.7 power stroke, 488 gears, new tires going on this thing next week. So stay tuned for that. Take it down here to definitely the work section. We've got our uh, KXO 80-4 excavator with the FAE mulching head. And here we've got the gooseneck trailer that we tow that thing with. So I hooked this up to, well, which will now be the 2020, we're getting hooked up to this towing stuff around my 550 toes the excavator around we've got tons of enclosed trailers we got a dump trailer we got two plows over there so that's all work that's all work and then of course we have the can-am maverick 1000 r for our fun guys for our fun but we also have some atvs with track kits so all right guys as you can see we've got a ton of stuff going on this channel we're just getting started here we're just getting started. I promise you it's only going to get better. I can guarantee you that this is the first 2020 Super Duty in Nova Scotia. I haven't seen one on the lot. This is the first one that was around. I guarantee it's the first one. It's going to be the first one you're probably going to see towing videos. You're going to see MPG videos. You're going to see daily driving videos. You're going to see modifications getting done to it right away. So stay tuned. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Oh man, there's so much to talk about. There's so much to talk about. Stay tuned guys, stay safe, and we'll see you very soon with more videos on this guy, I promise. Later.